Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, the Fed meeting uh, today, as everyone should know, um, didn't go so well. I guess uh, Janet Yellen um, was asked uh, by uh, all the interviewers, uh, the media, uh, you know, two or three people asked questions and Janet Yellen just blatantly didn't even answer them, just went off on some other kind of vague, uh, unrelevant uh, statements. <clears throat> um, I don't think the Fed has any control of what's going on. And um, they're really clueless. And I'm beginning to think that um, they've lost control or whatever control they had um, is gone. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, I think Janet Yellen is in that position for a reason this time around. Um, there's going to be a lot to deal with here <laughs> pretty soon. Look at the dollar. Um, hate to see, hate to say that I'm right, but I was damn right. Um, it went up to the 97, just over the 97 mark and got rejected freaking hard. Um, and, um, what, what I noticed, uh, late in the night, um, uh, gold was breaking out on like a 60 minute chart um, and gold started to go up with it and um, suddenly gold got stopped out and started to reverse and it reversed hard um, so I think they were trying to keep gold down in the middle of the night but then when the Fed meeting comes out realizing uh, people, you know, traders, everyone um, realizing that there's no confidence from the Fed about what's going on, all of a sudden a reversal, and within 15 minutes, um, all morning, my uh, watch list, there was like hardly any green, and within 50 minutes, the whole watch list of miners, gold, silvers, um, just everything I had on there, all green. Um, the only thing um, that was up and stayed up and wasn't twitched by anything was the S&P, which is really weird. Um, so I can't even say I know what the hell is going on here, but um, I'm going to stick to the charts. Um, like I said, uh, the charts tell the story before the media. Um, so back to the dollar, I mentioned um, this would be the final retracement back to the 8. I was dead on uh, because the 8 is crossing the 34 um, on this. And um, this happened. The... The dollar went up to 97, 97 something something, 10 or something. I don't remember exactly. 97.07, right around there. And this was before the Fed meeting. Um, it went all the way up. And then Fed meeting comes out and then it drops like a rock. Um, I think what I'm trying to say is I think that I'm going to stick to the charts, not listen to what the Fed says, not listen to what the media says. Um, plain and simple, the EMA 8 was crossing over the 34. I said that it was going to come up, meet it one more time, and that would be the final bearish retracement before it's filed. Um, so maybe I should speak for the Fed. I, I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and so anyways, it, it baffles me that the S&P didn't even twitch. I mean, it was up. No idea what the hell's going on. But um, let's look at a narrow... Look, look how that just... It, it went up all night. This is when gold was going up. And so 
the dollar was following it um, obviously gold cannot keep going up when the dollar goes up um, so then all of a sudden uh, gold starts going down and then the dollar puts in a um, falling or a hanging man and then all of a sudden bam within 15 minutes gold is up um, dollars down it's just it was amazing to watch I mean wow um, so let's look at the uh, smaller aspects of the S&P I can see I made a higher low broke out from this trend line here and and just shot up but um, here here we have on the close 60 minute chart is a hanging man so let's see this thing come down tomorrow now I keep hearing uh, mentioning um, <clears throat> gold is following in tandem to the US uh, to the Japanese yen <clears throat> um, I definitely not today I didn't do any of that I don't see the chart matching up three years in a row to um, hang on a minute yeah I was looking at the uh, Nikkei as well I, I don't see any kind of resemblance um, Ted Ferguson keeps saying that um, I, I really have to figure this out but um, <clears throat> I don't see the yen um, following any aspect of of the gold chart the past three years it just doesn't make any sense um, but um, let's move on um, crude <clears throat> okay so dollars down uh, commodities should be going up um, so we'll see where this, this is still trying to break in the previous lows trying to hit that 40 um, looks like we got a reversal bar here though so this is a weekly chart. We see how the week ends up, but right now it's making a reversal bar. Um, copper um, made a move higher and backed off a little bit. Still working the previous lows. We need to get up to 240. Uh, next previous lows. See if we can start working up because you can see on a longer term, you can see the reverse head and shoulders forming um, on a monthly so this will take a long time but um, we'll see where it happens keep a watch on it um, once this once this copper gets going I, I think I would like to trade it um, put some coin in there and see what happens you know okay so gold while that's all I can say is wow that was awesome um, didn't reach our point of return it just it reversed it broke out in the middle of the night followed the dollar the dollar broke it down as the dollar kept going uh, gold turned around and um, let me see if I can find it okay so it was breaking out here right and then that's when the dollar was coming up and then the dollar kept going up so obviously the dollar or the the uh, gold can't keep going up with it um, so just it tanked um, so it did this little sideway action it thought I was going to break down um, all of a sudden boom within 15 minutes everything everything on the screen was green it was awesome. Here's a 15 minute chart. Here's the first 15 minutes. Gapped up, kept going. Awesome. What a treat. Um, uh, no mention of any um, uh, stocks out there, but uh, I, like I said, everything was green. Everything. Everything bounced hard up to the upside. Silver as well, but. Um, you haven't seen that breakout yet. Look for a 580 and above. Um, let's see here, 60 minute chart on, yeah, see, I mean, wow. 
It was trying to break down, trying to break down, and just reversed out of nowhere. Boom. What a treat. That was awesome. Um, that's it, guys. Um, congratulations for uh, sticking it out. Uh, look for those reversal bars on dailies. Um, look for confirmations the next day open. Shake yourself out. Um, take your profits. Um, sell into resistance. Uh, and Nugget uh, NUGT was up 20% today. But um, it's at 70. Your potential uh, into previous lows is at 80. So be careful out there. And um, uh, look out, look for those uh, weekly flat top breaks. I put a notice out there for um, DNN just for everyone. No, it's so everyone knows I bought a little piece of that um, just to see what happens. It's a little 50, 50 cent um, Amex um, issue. Um, but uh, at a 50 break, it looks uh, pretty sweet up to 80 cents. So it's it got some potential there to uh, make some coin. Uh, don't throw a whole load in there. <laughs> don't sell the ranch, you know. Um, and another thing I want to throw at you guys is, is there maybe a messenger service? Because when we used to trade stocks, we used to use Yahoo Messenger, one of the two that was popular back in, you know, 95, 96, to um, message back and forth, you know, questions. Um, what would you say? Uh, stock picks for the day. I'm watching this. I'm watching that kind of messenger service. I was thinking maybe um, um, what is it? Um, shoot, I get the top of my tongue. I forget what it was called. Um, hang on. Skype. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember that. But um, my Skype call is um, Rusty's Metals. Um, so you can reach out to me that way. Um, that would be probably the free way to do it. Um, let me know who you are when you contact me because, hell, I get some lot of freaky people contacting me on uh, Skype. But anyways, I want to throw that out there. Maybe something that we can keep a contact during the middle of the day. So, um, you know, something catches your eye. You want to tell everyone about it, that kind of stuff. Um, so thanks for watching. Please uh, share, like, and comment. Um, what a great day. Uh, it looks like the Fed is falling apart at the seams. Deutsche Bank is being... Um, it's going to be throwing scraps around and the rest of the banks are going to eat it, eat it up. Um, but, you know, it's not big of a scrap yet. It's only $1 trillion that they're in derivatives they're throwing out there. And I think Deutsche Bank's like $72 trillion. Um, so it doesn't mean anything. But um, these people are crazy. Um, Look out for uh, the future. Get a Bit Bitgold account um, if you can. Go to my um, Precious Metals uh, hyphen Prices dot com. There's a uh, link there. There's a link on my YouTube channel. Uh, donate if you can, and um, keep in touch. Let me know what's going on out there. Thank you.